Twainge la bonse, twainge la bonse, mundo munganda, munganda e toa la mi pela malumbo. Twainge la bonse, twainge la bonse, mundo munganda, munganda e toa la mi pela malumbo. Muno to Africa ni mwisa no to Africa eh Muno to Africa ni mwisa no to Africa eh Muno munganda munganda eh to ala mi pela malumbo In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit The Lord be with you let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and save your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul, the Ephesians. Brethren, I assume that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I have written briefly, when you read this, you can perceive my insight into my mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is how the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given to me in the waking of power. To me, Though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for eggs in God who created all things. That through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might, know, might now be made known to the principalities and the powers of the heaven places. This was according to the internal purpose which he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confidence of access through our faith in him. The word of the Lord. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Saviour. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy. You will, you will draw, draw water, water from, from the, the walls of salvation. of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. 
make known his deeds among the nations proclaim that his name is exalted with joy you will draw water from the walls of the savior sing praises to the lord for he has done gloriously let him be known in all the earth shout and sing for joy O inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst he from for great in your midst is the holy one of Israel with, with joy, joy you, you will draw, draw water, water from, from the, the walls of, of the savior alleluia 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 Watch therefore and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have been awake and would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his master will set over his household, to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the, the men servants and the maid servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will punish him and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will, but did not make ready or act according to his will, shall receive a severe beating. But he who did not know and did, and did what deserved a beating, shall receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much is given, of him will much be required. And of him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Each one of us is a steward. First of all, a steward of one's life. <coughs> we are stewards of our own life, and then also stewards of the things that God has created around us. And being stewards, Jesus is expecting us, God is expecting us to be responsible in our work. The steward is not the owner or the ultimate owner of what they, are, they, they have been put in charge of. Our life is not ours at all. That's why we can't even pre prevent ourselves from dying. We are only stewards. We are only keeping it for somebody else. We are only keeping it for God because he is the ultimate owner of this life and everything else that we have around. Each one of us today should ask oneself a question, what kind of a steward am I? Am I a responsible steward or am I an unresponsible steward? Or am I trying or not trying at all? Am I irresponsible? Am I responsible? An irresponsible steward is going to 
receive a severe beating as the gospel tells us. If you and I choose to be irresponsible stewards, for sure we are going to receive a severe beating. Because we have been given commandments, we have been given rules to follow. We know what to do. And since we know what to do, much is expected of us. But if we decide to follow a different path, indeed, we shall receive a good beating. No one knows when the Son of Man is coming. No one knows when this world is ending. No one knows when they are going to die, when you are going to die, when I am going to die. Nobody knows. Anything is possible anytime. And what does that mean to us? It means that at any given point, we are supposed to be prepared. Be prepared for the unexpected. Be prepared for anything that may happen, that may come. Jesus says, no one knows when the Son of Man is going to come for the second time. And this is true. No one today can claim that they know when Jesus is coming back. Every moment we are still alive is an opportunity for us to prepare ourselves for anything. For the coming of the Son of Man. For our own death even. And that means in our work of stewardship, we are supposed to be responsible and not irresponsible. Because when we choose the irresponsible path, we are going to receive a severe beating. We may want to think about this in the physical manner. But when we interpret it, this severe beating might actually mean eternal damnation. What kind of a steward are you? What kind of a steward am I? In Bemba we say, Akalimba kakwa shima takapomsango. When somebody borrows a radio from you because maybe they have a feast at home, they want to enjoy themselves with their friends and family, that radio does not belong to them. It belongs to you. And that means that at whatever point you want to have it back, you go and knock at that door and say, may I have my radio back because I also want to use it. That person is not going to say, no, this is now when we are just, uh, you know, the party is just starting. Can you give us one, one more hour, two more hours? But that radio belongs to you. That radio belongs to me and I want it back now. So sadly, the person that borrowed that radio is going to give it to the owner. And maybe the feast is going to be disturbed, unfortunately. But that radio belongs to that person, that owner. And that owner has the right to get it back at whatever time they want. Hence, akali mbakako ashima takapo msango. That radio can be understood in the, in the sense of our life. We, may, we, we might want to be alive for more time. We may, might want to enjoy life for more time. But then we realize that this life is not ultimately ours. It belongs to God. And therefore, at any time, God can come and say, may I have, may I have it back. You are going to go to hospitals. You are going to go to papas for prayers. You are going to go to everywhere for you. To, pre to, to prevent yourself from dying. But if that is the time that God wants you back to himself, none of those things is going to work. We have seen some of our friends, brothers and sisters that have gone before us. Some attended even the best, the best hospital in the world. They were attended to by the best doctors in the world. But God still said, it is time for you to come back home. So this life is not ultimately ours, it belongs to God. The question is, as, as you go back home, as you go back to, to God and stand before him, what exactly are you going to say? What, what kind of a steward were you? Are you going to, to proudly stand before God and say, I tried? Or you're going to stand before God in shame? And this is what uh, Christ wants us to reflect on uh, this morning as he talks about the coming of the second, the second coming of the Son of Man. We pray for good stewardship. We pray for responsible stewardship. 
because irresponsible stewardship is what is going to take us to eternal damnation. But responsible stewardship is, is going to win us a place in the kingdom of God. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his creation. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, who live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of heaven, heaven and death, full of your glory, you and Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the charges of salvation, giving thanks that of God has worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alec Banda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of us who cannot receive Christ physically in the blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, we pray together in receiving Christ spiritually in communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, my wato, meneti butika, Maria, muti jangate, kwa yesu mwana wanu muti pempele, Maria Muti Tangate Maria my watu Maria Muti Pepelele my watu Maria my watu Maria Maria Muti Tangate Maria my watu Welcome to CNM Book Center Limited. Here under one roof, we are stocked with all the liturgical books you need, from the Roman Missus to weekday daily Missus and lectionaries for the readings of the day. On this other side, buy for yourself or your family spiritual books and Bibles to deepen your faith and understanding of God. CNM Book Center Limited also offers prayer books to help you cultivate a prayer life without difficulties. Discover a variety of religious articles, including sacramentals like statues, crosses, tabernacles, monstrances, beautiful rosaries, and more. In addition, find candles for Easter, baptism, and Advent. For more spiritual growth, CNM Book Center Limited has a collection of philosophical, theological books, plus church documents. Better Yourself books and children books are all available. And for the priests, we offer a selection of vestments, including chasubles, albs, and clerical sheds. All these very high quality items at a very affordable price for you to call again. If you need cards for any occasion, look no further. We also have in stock a variety of incense. C&M Book Center Limited is on plot number 2338-9-C off Leopard Hill Road in New Kasama. 
You can contact us on 0955 57 6211 or 0977 111641. You can email us at cnbookcenter at yahoo.co.uk. CM Book Center Limited is also found at Mary Immaculate Parish, Roma Parish, and at Intercity Bus Terminus in the Saka. Experience the spiritual richness at CM Book Center Limited. <laughs>